So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so first of all you have to just click on start lab and open the looker in incognito window just open the looker in incognito window now here it will ask for the details okay just sign in details which is present on the lab instruction you have to just select from there only okay just select from there only come to the lab instruction select it paste over here and one more important thing if you are new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel now here wait for the looker to get open the first thing we have to do is the enabling of development mode so that we can modify the files so here you can see the development mode is present at the bottom you have to just click on this toggle just click on this toggle and the page will reload itself after that we have to just run some query and after that we have to save the dashboard and we'll be done with the lab guys this lab is very simple you have to just click on the explore option first of all wait for it to get fully loaded and then you can see explore develop and admin option is here out of it we have to just click on the explore option okay we have to just click on the explore option let me show you how you have to do it just click on this order items okay now here we have to just add two values and run the query and the query will be in 10 row okay the row limit will be 10 and let me show you it will become easier to understand by seeing the example only now in the search items you have to clear fully enter the name and then you have to just select it from the users region so how you have to do just come to the task number one here you can see user city we have to just search city and select under user section okay so just copy from here or you can carefully type it also okay do not copy in extra space or full stop paste over here you can see here that only one user is here just click on it and cross verify whether it is added you can see it is added successfully now again here just type count carefully type count and come to the user section now click on this and here you can see this arrow just click once and you'll be able to see descending order once you see descending order update the row limit to 10 then you have to just see we have to add visualization to table format okay before that we have to run it now come over here to visualization and click on this table option okay once the query is successfully run we have to save the dashboard how we have to save the dashboard i will tell you do not worry about it now you can see the query is successfully completed now you can see this gear icon on the top you can see next to the run option there is a gray gear icon you have to just click on it save save to a new dashboard and for the dashboard name come to the task number two copy the name carefully and make sure there is no extra space or comma paste over here and just save it once you save it we are done with the tab sorry lab you can just view the dashboard and just check the score for task number one and two chances are there you may not get the score for task number one instantly so you need to wait for some time wait for a, a minute and then you'll surely get the score okay just wait for some time and check the score you'll definitely get the score and do like the video and subscribe the channel for skill badges pre assessment skill badges and laugh free courses all things are present on the channel you can check it out do like the video and subscribe the channel guys thank you have a great day ahead if you are unable to see the score just refresh the browser window and to enable this check my progress check description